friends, welcome to Russian Icebreakers channel. My name is Katya. In this video, we're going to learn how to say different languages in Russian, how to say I speak certain language. If you're interested, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, follow us on Instagram and keep watching. Russian are actually adjectives. We're not going to talk much about the rules, how the adjectives are formed, we're gonna leave it for the future videos. But today let's talk about the most common languages. All languages in Russian are spelled with a small letter. Yazyk, Ruski yazyk, Angliski yazyk, Kitaiski yazyk, Yiponski yazyk, Французский язык, латышский язык, немецкий язык, корейский язык, португальский язык, арабский язык, грузинский язык. As you can see, most languages end with e, which is a typical ending of masculine adjective, because язык is a masculine noun. If you don't remember what genders are, please watch our video, we will link it down below. However, there are some exceptions to this rule. For example, Ivrit, Hindi, Swahili. Common verbs that we use with languages. Понимать. Я понимаю русский, я понимаю английский, китайский. Но я не понимаю итальянский. Изучать. Я изучаю японский. Он изучает корейский. Знать. Мама знает арабский язык. Папа не знает суахили. Любить. Я люблю испанский язык. Сева любит японский язык. Вы любите русский язык? Говорить. Now, the situation with verb говорить is a little bit different from the previous verbs. Because to say I speak certain language, we need to add preposition по to the language and change the ending a little bit. For example, по английски. We cut the last letter, which is ю in this case. Я говорю по английски. Ты говоришь по-японски. Now, in case of Hindi, Swahili and Ivrit, it's a little bit different. We don't add preposition по to these three languages. Instead, we add preposition на. На Hindi, на Swahili, на Ivriti. And we add letter е to Ivrit. Подруга не говорит на Ivriti. Директор говорит на Swahili. Мангеш говорит на хинди. The structure по in language and на with these three languages we can also use with verb понимать. Я не понимаю по-грузински. Я понимаю по-китайски. Джон понимает по-английски. А вы понимаете по-русски? Please write down in the comments what languages you speak, what languages you understand and love. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to this channel, follow us on Instagram, like this video, leave your comments down below with questions and suggestions. And until next time, пока-пока!